Hi guys, I have five bar charts here and our goal today is to select the most insightful. Let me take you through the process of creating this chart. To insert the bar chart, all I have to do is highlight my data, go to the insert tab and insert a clustered column bar chart. I'm going to press the alt button to snap this to the grid. Alternatively, hold the control button, click on the chart and use the arrow key to move the chart. I'm just going to right mouse click to open up the formatting panes. The bars look pretty slim, so let's fatten them up. I'll change the overlap to zero and the width to 150. Next, I'll adjust the vertical axis. The display unit should be in thousands and I'll add my data labels. To adjust the data labels, I'll move to the number category and change decimal places to zero. I'll delete the grid lines. Since I have the data labels now, I can delete the vertical axis. I'm going to link the title to my source data. So you click on the title, go to the formula bar and link to source. Now I can play around with the colors. There are quick colors available in the design tab. However, I'll select each series. Actual would be blue gray, while budget would be gold. Now one more thing is format the data labels. For the actual series, I'll move the data label inside base and change the font to white. What I would like to display for the budget is the variance. So I'll go to label options and check the values from cells. This will bring a pop-up which will allow me select the range. I don't want the budget values so I'll uncheck this. I'll reduce the font size of the chart title. To create a duplicate of this chart, just click on the borders, press Ctrl D. An alternative is to hold down the Shift and Ctrl button and drag out a duplicate. The duplicates are ready. Let's go ahead and edit each one. For chart B, right mouse click to change chart type. I'll go for combo type, which will allow me combine two different types of chart. I want to change the budget series to a line chart, which is exactly what Excel has recommended. Click OK. Most of the formatting has been preserved. However, I have to make some tweaks. So right mouse click on the line to open up the format data series. We change the color to match the previous chart and make the line a little thicker and make it a smooth line. Click on the label and move it above the line. All done. For chart C, right mouse click, change chart type, combo. We change the budget series to a line chart with markers okay right mouse click on the line no line go to marker options solid fill gold marker options change to built-in select the type and increase the size i'll go with 35 change the position of the labels done for chart d right mouse click on any of the series to open up the formatting pane adjust the overlap to 100 percent adjust the fill and line no fill solid line gold color now let's make the line thicker 2.5 done for chart e right mouse click on the budget series change chart type we're going to put the budget series on the secondary axis now this can be done on the formatting pane as well ensure the budget series is highlighted click on secondary axis adjust the width make it wider than the actual go to fill options and adjust the transparency you can delete the vertical axis if you need to make any adjustment to the actual series and you're having difficulties selecting it go to the format tab and select it here and we're all Done. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is it A, B, C, D, or E? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share the video, and hit the like button.